Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Well, I'm just watching the sound. It's spiking, so I'm just bear with me. How are you all today? Well, today we want to talk about rapture. <laughs> Come on, let's be honest. That's all we want, isn't it? But, you know, we've got to work, guys. But we want to talk about rapture. And today, as the title said, rapture and the Shemitah. What is the Shemitah? Well, God has split years into seven years, periods, for over 3,000 years and things fit into them periods always fit into the seven year periods to which we're coming to the Shemitah at the end of every seven years there is a Shemitah year a sabbatical year okay which is about to start on trumpets the seventh okay is the start of a sabbatical year the Shemitah okay now bear in mind that God has split the time period into seven years to make or break nations it always happens within them as history tells us the ottoman empire um we'll look at world war ii happened in the shemitah cycle the seven year cycle of 1938 to 1945 we know the rebirth of israel was in 1948 but it was in the shemitah year of 1945 to 1952 so are we talking Shmita years? We've always looked at the date. I'll come across an interesting one in a minute. Don't fear that we're, we're talking rapture here. You know, let's get, let's just be honest now, because I really do want to go. And everybody I know wants to go, you know, and I don't know the day nor the hour, but I'm here to watch for you because people left on the comments, uh, please give us all you know. And, and this is just all I know. So it's not saying it's going to happen. I ain't God and I'm not a prophet. And I'll tell you that now. And I do not know the day nor the hour. But I appreciate being able to share what I do know. And I brought back into play the Shemitah cycle and the Shemitah years probably a year and a half ago. And it was brought to me by my brother Frank. And I thank him very much for bringing it up because this is what happens. That was that. Uh, that a year and a half ago when we first started looking at this interesting subject which is plain to see or in plain sight you know god would not leave us destitute but we do have to search and depend on everyone to get it but i do recommend going to mark Bilt's site on youtube he is the expert on the shemitah cycles going on at the tribulation well, let's go off some notes to fit some things that's come together in the Shemitah cycles within the seven year period that God laid down and has been running for 3,000 years. Okay. World War II. Okay. Seven year cycle, 1938 to 1945. Rebirth of Israel was in the Shemitah cycle of 1945 to 52. Seven years. Okay. Israel's first full seven year cycle since their rebirth in 1948 was between 1952 and 1959. That was their Shemitah seven years, which changes it a bit for me, for my thinking. You know that we're talking about a generation of three score years and 10 and, 80 for, and 10 for stealth, 80 years. Well, this puts a new twist on it. That means that from 1952, remember, Israel's first seven-year cycle since their rebirth in 1948 was 1952 to 1959. That means that from 1952 to 2022, take notes, I'll do a proper presentation on this when I get it all together. 2022 is 70 years. Do the math. 1952 to 2022 is 70 years and you're saying what what do you mean 2022 well, i want to go out in 2021 so do i because our sabbatical year the sabbatical year okay is the last year in every seven so from 2015 to 2022 is seven at the end but we have the sabbatical year starting on the feast of trumpets <laughs> now that means rest Okay, that means rest. The sabbatical year is to rest the land, take time off, rest. That's what it means. So that's peculiar when you're seeing all these things 
going on, which we report on the news, we see on the ground. Join us on Telegram and Patreon because it's all going on there, everything, and I've got to do that today. But that means we're now approaching on the 7th of September, Feast of Trumpets, the Shemitah year, the sabbatical year, year of rest, or I'd like to put it as the transition year. To what? Because cycle 10 ends in 2022 on the 26th, yes, 26th Feast of Trumpets, 26th of September, which is, in my opinion, the start of the tribulation. Now, I know we're all saying, well, wait a minute, we go up when it comes down, and I've I've gone for that, yeah, and I don't know any different than that to this day. All I'm saying is it makes more sense for everything that's happening on the ground to come together. It's going to take time, a little bit of time, probably a year, to bring the signing of a peace treaty in fullness, the destruction of Damascus, the surrounding of Israel, uh, Jerusalem. That's going to take a year. But it doesn't mean to say we're going to be here, does it? Are we on rest? Are we on rest in the sabbatical year? The last of the Shemitah cycle, the Shemitah year? Are we on rest? Are we home? Are we gone with our Lord? Has he come for the bride by then? More likely, is my opinion. But I did want to share more. I keep these short and I will present them a bit better. I'll keep them short. But the channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of the kingdom of Father God. We serve no other God here. It is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. He came 2,000 years ago. He died and he rose again to wash me clean if I confess and believe and keep these things in my heart. I follow him, lest I believe in vain. That's what the gospel says. I've had comments saying that I shouldn't be preaching the gospel. I've had comments saying that it's the wrong gospel. I'm not interested. Christ came into my life 51 years ago. I only had to accept that he came in. And he's kept me. And he'll keep me to the end. <clears throat> well, and up a bit there, because he means a lot to me. And I see so much deception. Beware of the deception of these end times. Beware, your job is to spread the gospel, but your Jesus said the work of God is to believe in the one he sent. Period. That is the work of God. What we do is a result of salvation. Works will follow. Okay, good works will follow. So forgive me, I'm not getting angry, I'm getting righteous. <laughs> okay, righteous. But the Smitty year really is pivotal in all we do. We look back at through some things that happened within Shemitah cycle, seven year periods, including the eclipse crossing America, including the Twin Towers that came in a Shemitah cycle. Remember that Shemitah means the making and breaking of a nation, um, the destruction or the formation of. Wow. wow. So the 11th cycle will be God's judgment, the making and breaking and issuing in of the new covenant and the millennium and so many other things. That's coming in the last one. Remember that on Feast of Trumpets 2022, it will be 70 years. That could be the generation. Just saying, you did ask. Please let me know if you want to continue on this vein of looking for rapture i want to look for rapture i want to go and we will work through you know i, I had the vision i'll say this it could have been from the enemy he, i don't people are not aware that the enemy's talking to us all day and god is coming in a moment of righteousness prayer and fasting in many occasions he tells us to pray always because there must be a distance i guess between him hearing and responding just guessing there so we've always got to be conscious and test prophecy. Over my period of time, when I've heard things, I've always had to test it, but I've had to stand in faith. And I'm standing in faith in this one, but it's still under test. He told me Rosh Hashanah, but he didn't tell me what, which one. I, is it going to be 2022? I don't think so, because the sabbatical year in my heart, the, my rest, starts 
2021, 7th of September. We could be going out. Could be. If not, everybody's strengthening me on Discord because they know how broken I'll be if it doesn't happen. And I the thought of having to wait. But if it doesn't happen, we're continuing through these festivals, these autumn festivals, and waiting patiently for our Lord and Saviour to come and return and take us home. Yes, pre-tribulation, guys. I will work more and more on this. It's a bit basic to get it out because, of, again, busy, busy, dressed up, winter's coming in. But I'm going to leave you with may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.